Hey sis, so welcome back or welcome to Keeper of My Home. My name is Erica, a mother of four kiddos, ages nine, seven, five, and almost three year old. So I do have my hands full and also my heart is full as well. So I want to share with you what I'm be using for kindergarten for my rising kindergartener. She'll be starting August 28th is our official official day of school, but we've already started um, throughout the summer here and there. Um, so let's get right in. Um, for reading, I have a couple curriculums. I don't know what I'm going to use. My kids are all different. They learn different. So I don't want to just get one book for all because it's not just one one book fits all, you know. So I'm going to use what worked. What I have used before for reading, it is essential to build a great foundation and at least the three, you know, at least reading and writing for uh, for kindergarten all the way. I mean, you always need to have that foundation. That way they can grow in other subjects as well. And so what worked for me with my other students was Alpha Phonics. I haven't used this book. I, I believe it's the same one that I used to have. Um, but this is a student workbook, instruction manual, and instruction manual. So in the front of the in front of the book it has like the words that you need to read to your student i don't know if you could see like i b b i b um you know the cvc sounds and the words and stuff um and then in the but they're all lessons so then towards the back of the of the book they have the lessons and they actually even um have on how to teach cursive i'm trying to look where it says uh, for example, lesson one is a short A consonant, cons short A and consonants M, N, S, T, X. So it tells you, have your learner turn to lesson one in the workbook. Start by telling your learner that you are now going to teach the sounds, the letters they stand. And it tells you what to say in quotations. When you learn the alphabet, you learn the names of the letters. Now we're going to learn the sounds the letters stand for. Let's start with the first sound. Make a short A sound make uh, as an at so that's actually the then it says did you hear that sound so this is very very good curriculum it starts from the basics and so this is how it looks up close I'm trying to keep it straight so anyhow I really really like this one I didn't get the readers when I had this book before um, but these are the readers it comes with. They're Alpha Phonics first readers. And these are just uh, the primer books. I haven't even opened it because I just ordered it this year. And this is what it says. This is what it looks like inside. <clears throat> Excuse me, I need my coffee right now or my tea or something. It says, Dad has a van. Dad's van has a fan. Dad's van has a tan cab. So these are all the short A sounds. And I really, really like this. This is gonna be great. Uh, we've used this before, the Bob books. I've used Bob books with my, um, I think with both of my older girls. Um, so it should, my daughter should like it as well. But the difference is that with um, Alpha Phonics in between um, Bob Brooks, Bob Brooks, um, they use like, what is that? For example, in the Ted had a rag. So this one's more colorful. These ones have cartoons, um, characters, um, Sometimes they don't make sense. Sometimes they're just silly words. But I do like the Alpha Phonics just looking at it right now because it's just it's just a white page with words on it and very simple. Um, so it depends. We'll see what my, my child likes and we can use both either way. Uh, so that's one reading curriculum. I started uh, Foundations with Logic of English with my six-year-old I believe last year I don't remember when I tried to use this it's for ages four to seven um, and this book this is the manuscript the manuscript workbook level a and here is this is what it looks like inside they have uh, beginning sounds um, matching letters so this is a good workbook to have I really like it um, I just think it was too easy for my older my uh, my older daughter, so we didn't get to use it. The thing that I like about this, and this is also comes with a teacher's manual for foundations, logic of English, and uh, it's very uh, detailed on what 
on the lessons and what you have to, <clears throat> excuse me. It's very detailed. And the thing is, it's very detailed. So it's like time consuming. So if you have that time to just one-on-one -on -one with that child and to just focus on reading, that's great. Um, so with that said, what I do like about Foundations of English is that they do have, they teach how to read phonetically. Um, like before you start teaching A, B, C, D, E, F, G, teach A, you know, I think they even say A, A, like all the sounds of the letter A, all the sounds of the letter B, or, you know, B, K, D. So I think that's what helped um, my my other daughter is that um, we didn't like just, I didn't just teach her. I think I did it with my, my four-year-old at that time she was four. But like the letter A, there's different sounds of a letter A. For example, A and ants snakes ate grapes wash the walls so it it already integrates the different sounds the consonants or the vowels make um b is pretty straightforward c is pretty straightforward but cards dice crackers rice circus clown casting crowns so the c can have the k sound and it can also have the s sound so the D, doodling dragons, dollar dimes, darling dimples, do the D's easy. Now E, the letter E, for example, yellow, lemons, emerald, shelves, emus, emailing, evil elves. So it is, I mean, I don't like the evil elves part, but I mean, it shows you phonetically how to teach your child to read. And instead of saying, teaching your kid for preschool and kindergarten, oh, it's just sight words, ah, the A always makes the ah sound. And then once they get to a different word later on, they're going to say, whoa, I thought you said A is for A, like cat, but then there's eight. How does that sound? So this goes straight forward. The, all the sounds of that, all the letters of the book of the alphabets make. So I have that. And my kindergartner right now, um, she does know the sounds of her, of her, um, of her, you know, of, of the letters of the alphabet, but I just want to make sure she's really found it and we're going to go through the books thoroughly <clears throat> excuse me again um so let's move on so those are the two reading i do have uh, my first drawing draw and write journal i plan on using this on a day-to-day -day basis where i can write what she wants to say and she can draw whatever she wants just like my other girls if you notice the other videos i have a draw and write or a draw this is another one this is just a composition composition notebook with the alphabet in the front um but i do and maybe one can be for her bible verses i think i have another book for her bible verses but so every day she writes her bible verse and i actually have another composition notebook it's just a preschool composition notebook where she draw i i draw the like the letter a the number one the number two actually i think i'll go get that for you really quick okay so basically for the composition notebook i have a preschool composition notebook that i have for her kindergarten and I drew the letter A, and she has to trace it. I drew the letter B, she has to trace it. And I can't find it right now, but that is what I use on a day-to-day -day basis for her. Composition notebooks are priceless. I really like them because they can we can use them as a keepsake. Sorry, I'm out of breath. I was looking for the composition notebook with no avail. It's like she, she used it yesterday, and I can't find it right now. So anyways, um, so that's for the composition notebooks. I also have first words i have this from last year she started this last year it was a little intensive i mean um i don't know why she didn't like it necessarily but she didn't really want to do this all the time maybe because she was only three four years old when we barely got this so i'm going to reintroduce this to her and see if she wants to use that for sight words <clears throat> excuse me so i also have the morning starters i believe i got this from dollar tree this is a little hard too. Um, she has to know, like for example, it says, what's the date? Today is Monday, circle the letter. So she already has to know the letters of the alphabet for this. So she has already started this book, but this is just like a morning starter, like after breakfast, you can have, I can, she can do that. I have ready to learn, I mean, ready to read for ages four to six. And it's just a scholastic book, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, with sight words, uh, fun activities to do in here, 
it is a little advanced. I think maybe in a couple of weeks she'd be able to do this one. Um, so we also have Brain Quest. My mom got these books for my kiddos. If you don't know, I already had, um, I already kind of showed you my second graders last yesterday. And I will be uploading this video today, hopefully. And so this is just the, the letters of the alphabet and some words on the bottom. And it covers a lot of subjects, math, science, patterns, uh, fun and game, shapes and colors, vocabulary, spelling. So this is a very good book to have. Um, now, so those are the reading and writing. And uh, also, of course, I always get these um, cards that show the colors and she can mix and match the colors or find the, mat the matching patterns. You can get these at the Dollar Tree, any Target dollar spot, any dollar um, store has has these available. I like the ones with real pictures, with real words that you can um, just, she can use uh, visual discrimination to uh, show what that character or what that image really is <clears throat> okay one thing i did order this year are these mats these are just play-doh mats and it comes from a to z i believe i got this from lakeshore learning but i'm not sure but if you really want to know let me know in the comments below now one thing she really likes to do and really likes to have is this kindergarten kit she got this from amazon we ordered this from Amazon, it's just a kit, and she just opens it up. She just opens it up, here are the letters of the alphabet. And then um, we have a little clock, we have a little eraser. She has cards, um, the numbers as well. We have stickers in here for when she completes a, a job. And she actually has workbooks right here. They're missing right now because she was working on them. But this is very neat to have. For example, this is a sight word. Trace the word and uh, find the, the words. So she really, really likes to use this every day. She opens it up and tries to work in here. Another uh, of the other books that we have, actually my sister-in-law gave me these. So, well, not this one, but she gave me this one. This is a kindergarten silence science daily practice workbook this is what it looks like inside we haven't used this yet i think we did it one time so i look forward to seeing um, how it works for us this is a 20 weeks of fun activities if you want a detailed video let me know this is the 180 days of geography also my sister-in-law gave me these all the 180 days of geography Basically, like the other topics I think I showed you in my other videos, you read the a text and you answer the questions below. And it has it for uh, different subjects as well. So I have one for language, 180 days of language. There's how that one looks. 180 days of science. Again, this is from my sister-in-law. So thank you if you're watching. Um, I do do like this a lot. My kinder, well, my other daughters use this one for, for science as well. And then 180 days of high frequency words. So this is how it looks. And it comes with activities that you can cut out, trace, and paste. And I could even cut these out and then paste them onto your composition notebook as well and make an activity through that. The possibilities are endless. So these are the all of the different uh, 180 days subjects. This is DK Geography. We love DK. I, I mentioned them before. Um, she's already started this one and she really likes it. So again, it's read the text. You can color the picture and then you can answer the questions at the bottom. Some of them, I mean, they don't require writing, but they require t to speak, to point to the object that um, that they want us to do. For example, most maps have something called a compass rose. Four main directions are marked on a compass rose. North, south, east, and west. So then it says, here's a compass rose. Look at the letters on it. That's it. And then it doesn't say to write or anything like that. It just says to look at the letter. So here's N-E-W-S. N is for north. Point to the letter N on the compass rose. So it has them point to each letter. This is for pre-K to kindergarten. And then, so last but not least, I have some math workbooks that I already had. This is a primary mathematics. I am just going to look through it and see how it goes. Maybe we can use this one with manipulatives. This one is, um, I'm not sure. It doesn't give a grade, but it looks like pretty simple 
it looks like a pretty simple and understand to understand like probably the fundamentals of math. I do have this book. I believe my mom gave me this one. It's just a circle time student book. So problems of the day, standard key standards review, spiral review, and it just has problems and that she can answer. How many circles do you see? Measurement and geometry, the number of the day. So these are really fun. I can't wait to dive into that. And my sister-in-law also gave me this one, Saxon Math. I have two packets of this one, uh, part one and part two. I did use this for my other daughters. So we really, really like this. I like to use this as an introduction. So for sure I'm using this. These two are extra. I love Saxon Math. Um, and you can use, they have a kit that you can use manipulatives with them and um, and different uh, different objects as well. How many dots are in each square? Each row color the square with the most dots red. So this is an example. This is an example of a page. This paper quality is actually better than the other ones. It's usually like a brown paper. So we can do this one a day, one page a day. Now. Lastly, I do have these books that I used for my oldest daughter. Um, we just, we have these throughout the years. And this is just, these are just basically what the students in public school read, I believe, because I remember, I remember these books. Like, I think so. They just look like that's what we used to do. And it's McGraw-Hill Education. Basically, there's stories, the three little pigs. Um, and there's also, also other uh, activity I mean other other literature and here's a reading and writing workshop basically stories um, that you can I can read with my student sequence and it has questions at the end just like a normal textbook at school they highlight the vocabulary word and uh, I'm just gonna use these just to read and if there's a story I don't like in there then not you know just don't do it I can choose what I want to use and here's another this I like this one my uh, my older daughter the one who's just older than her she liked this book a lot because it was easy to read and so i wanted to see if my new um coming kindergartner likes it as well and this is just the textbook for it um yeah this is how it looks like inside survivors this is all about words to know about animals Fish can find a place to hide, so the vocab word is find. So that is all I have for you today. If you want a deeper look into one of the books that I have here, let me know in the comments below and I will work on it. I do have other requests that people have asked me, so I'm gonna work on that, such as how I taught my kids how to read, that's a big one. And so I need to get that book, that book, that video out to you soon. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I can cover but I believe that's it. So if you have any questions, please let me know below. And thank you so much for being here. And um, follow me on Instagram if you're not already. And thank you. I think that's it. Okay, I better stop before this video is too long. Love you guys and I'll see you soon. I almost forgot to show you what we're doing this week. So if you don't already know, I do have a packet. I just had it right now. A list of, I uh, over the weekend, I got each of my students, all of their books, all of my kids' books, and basically Put, wrote out each individual Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, what they're going to do for that week so that they wait that way they know what to do. So, for example, we have Bible verse. This is for my kindergarten, her Bible verse, Psalms 1 1. So, she will write it in her composition notebook. So, this is the notebook I was talking about earlier that I couldn't find, and it has um, the alphabet. She traces it, numbers. I just write them down for her and she traces them words and then a bible verse this is just her workbook she uses every morning and then all about me book so i want her to start working on this book i believe i got this from lakeshore learning um if you want to know exactly i can try to figure out where i got that from and then learning without tears building writers so she has these learning without tears books that my other students really enjoyed so i'm going to use this with her as well it basically has a beautiful little picture and words or letters for her to trace. I really like this curriculum for writing. Um, here's reading, I'm sorry, letters and numbers. So it just goes over the basics of how to write each letter. 
I have this fun book, the printing fun book. This is just a draw and write, not a draw and write, but you get to reuse it. You just use the Expo marker. This is a fun activity. And then here's the actual Saxon method she's using. This is part one. We haven't used the other parts yet. This is spelling and word study, social studies, kindergarten. We have these books from Target of the alphabet, reading readiness, uh, same and different. And these are from the Target dollar spot. And a fun activity that I did buy this year is this letter crayons. I don't remember where I ordered this, but I could look at find it for you if you really wanted me to find it. You could probably find it on Amazon. So it's just crayons that she can build letters. I mean, uh, words, words with them. Okay, so I believe that is it. But if you have any questions, please let me know. I love you all and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.